million class B shares. Here joining us to weigh in, John Steinberg is BuzzFeed's president and COO and a CNBC contributor. Good to see you again. Good John. to be here. Um, Somebody pointed out the average price for insiders at the IPO was a little more than a dollar. Yep. So uh, this makes sense for him. Well, he's also got a huge tax bill. It's funny. I mean, I'm trying to be a little uh, cheeky here, but it's sort of the taper of secondaries, right? It's, it's rather small on, on a market cap basis. He's got to pay taxes. It's being added to the index at the end of the day tomorrow. Um, it's the right time to basically do it, I think. Yeah. Uh, some have said it's brilliantly just time to move. Yes. From a PR perspective, investor relations perspective, do it on a week where people actually have to buy your stock. Well, and also, this is a company that historically has done a lot of things wrong with Wall Street, so I think that the CFO's office gets a lot of credit on this one for timing it. They gave a lot of explanation that he's using it to pay taxes. A lot of it's going to charity. Um, and, you know, the market cap is where it is now. So when, I think do, when do you start to get worried about the flow, about major dilution over time? I think certainly when you look at a $4 billion offering on a company that's $134 billion at this point, we're not even in the realm of really worrying about it. I mean, I think that if it was something more akin to well above 5% at that point, I think then you would start getting concerned, but certainly not now. Why would why does the company even need to issue shares right now? I think that he has to pay the tax bill, and given that he has to pay well, the I tax mean, bill... Well, I mean, but separate from Zuckerberg. Right, okay. but, but, but I think why not? And I think that this has been a company that's trying to take air out of the stock. When they did the earnings call and they, they made the teen engagement comment, Eversman could have said at that point, but the engagement is being made up for on Instagram. I don't know whether or not that's true. I'm speculating that it probably would have been pretty close, but I think when it ran after earnings, they said, let's take a little air out of this. This is not a company that wants a jacked up stock price. They don't really care that much about the stock price. They just want to keep things calm, I think. Analysts have been saying it's good for optics that it's not just Zuckerberg selling. It's also the company taking advantage of this opportunity. Yeah. The two-pronged approach to this does seem to be fairly positive. Right, Kyla. I mean, I think that makes sense as well. He had to do the tax bill. He had to sell all these stocks. They said, well, let's put it together in a bunch of different things. Let's have him give some to charity. Let's raise some capital as well. It's a rounded out, rather small type thing. So let's get it done the week we go into the index. Let's talk about video ads. Yeah. We've, we, you've been on before. We've talked about CPMs, which is, for those who don't understand ad sales, jing, yeah. jingo. It's, I mean, it's uh, the amount you pay for thousands of customers yep. in video. It's much different than it is for any other kind of ad. Yes. When does that start to show up on their bottom line, or at least their ad sales line? Well, we can make it even more basic right now, which is the U.S. television advertising spend is 60 to $70 billion, right? YouTube's video revenue this year will be 5 to $6 billion. There's a giant, giant delta there. Brands love buying video advertisements. They especially love buying TV advertisements because it's super easy. Sight, sound, hit a big audience at once, and Facebook wants that. They want to get out of the game of just selling these social ads, which is a rather small thing, and they want to go for the brass ring of the giant TV budgets. If you were going to construct something like this, would you tailor it so it started to roll immediately as you scrolled, and then if you wanted to hear it, you'd click on it, or would you would you construct it differently? I think it's I think it's less of an issue, and there has to be some reciprocity here, right? People are getting this amazing service for free. You will television at night. The commercial runs. People have to pay for the content in some way. And ultimately, it's starting to play without sound. It's not that bad. You can ignore it. Especially if you have a slow connection, it might not even start playing right. by the That's time you get past point. it, you know? TechCrunch got a hold of a private sales deck that was about 32 pages long. They took straight aim at YouTube, at television networks. Do you think those comps are there just yet? Is Facebook going to be an ad killer against some of those competitors? Well, I think the easiest comp is the YouTube comp, right? Why don't we have the YouTube video dollars. But that, as I said, is a relatively small bucket. Then the next bucket is, let's sell on a GRP basis, which is the way that you guys sell television. Let's go after big budgets, and let's go after the much larger size, right? And they're pricing it now $2.5 million for a day. Simon? You know you're beginning to sound like a member of the establishment, don't you? I know, you I know, know, I know. People should, you know, reciprocity. We're giving you a free service. All right. Watch our ads. Come on, that's not how it works. That's not how teams work, is it? Well, it's not cool. it's I, not cool. I love that I'm the establishment for once. At least I'm saying, at least TV is awesome and they love buying it. I mean, they do. That is true. Look, I do believe that. I don't think it's that interruptive. I think with no sound, I think it's less interruptive than television. Um, you're right. I mean, the teens are not going to like it. You know, the most extraordinary thing is Facebook is now the establishment because it's going into the S&P 500. I know. How young is Facebook? And it's going to be in the S&P 500. That's amazing. Isn't I, it? I, I know. I mean, it is sort of staggering. And you're right. When they start doing these things, which are a little bit establishment, making people watch a video ad that starts playing, that does open up the space for the people that don't have to hit the revenue targets, the people who don't have earnings, who say, we're not going to put in any ads, now we're going to disrupt them. Have you always worn a tie, or is that new as well? Well, what's new is, I realized it was the holiday, I opened my closet this morning, I would worn the same skinny tie ten times, and I had this nice normal red tie, so I was like, I'm going to go for it with the holiday season.
you have become your parents, John. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, sorry to oh, say oh, it. Oh, oh. I got to keep up with you guys. You look so nice. I'm like, I got to try a little bit. Yeah, Kayla's know? the only one. Kayla's the only one who looks nice. Thanks for coming uh, thank by. Thank you for John having me. I'll take that. Talking some Facebook. <laughs>